Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back with Tea with She. And, you know, the tea that we're going to get into, you know, I think everybody already knows the video that wasted a lot of our time yesterday that was dropped, you know, by my jazzy life. Yep. So Jazz should have really saved that video. Actually, she should have deleted that video. You know, um, I'm at this point, I think she needs a committee, a council who she needs to show her videos to. They go over the videos. They see if there's any discrepancies or if they see it, if they see it, like, is it a waste of time putting this out? Especially if it's just something that's just stupid. So let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. We're going to go ahead and get into this, though, this waste of time real quick. All right. So Jazz put this video up yesterday. Um, she, she titled it, I wasn't going to post this. Okay. Um, she She's just the only dumbass who would put this in her, in her title. I wasn't going to post this. If you weren't going to post this, this is the one that you should not have. have you should not have post. And then she says, the police came to my house, not clickbait. So in the video, I don't know. I mean, you know, the video, what I heard, I mean, the police did not come to her house. She said CPS came to her house, but the police did not come to her house. So, I mean, unless it was a part that I fell asleep on. So, yeah. So she says, I, so I really went back and forth on uploading this, but here it is. So this video is old, you guys. This is about a one week old video. Why are you bringing this up now? In this video, she talks about a whole bunch of nothing. Majority of the video, she's talking about the ice, the ice that's um, in Texas right now, shows us the ice, talks about not wanting to go outside to flip a trash can top back over, you know, like it was just a complete waste of fucking time. She didn't go into no specific details. All she said was that her grandma, I mean, not her grandma, but um, Philip's mom had called and told her that the police had um, called her. That's it. That's it. We, um, we were expecting Jazz to go into detail like, okay, why did they call her? You know, but I'm pretty sure we all know why. But, you know, um, she didn't say anything about why they called. Um, she didn't say say what they said. She didn't say none of that. So only the only thing was a couple of seconds of her saying just, you know, um, this 13 minute video only consists of her talking about the ice storm for 12 minutes and then for the next minute and 11 seconds, she talked about, she talked about, um, put the police calling the grandma and then also, um, that she's so drained and all this and that. You know what? At this point, she just does this to herself. She does it to herself. For one, we don't need to hear about none of that. Uh, Y'all remember the video that she posted yesterday? I mean, was it yesterday? But the most recent video that she posted before this one was of um, was just a regular vlog of hers. You know, a lot of people in the comment was com in a comment section was commending her. They were happy for her. Even somebody who said that they um, usually write negative stuff about her, they said that this video that vlog was actually really good. That um, they didn't have nothing negative to say. That they they was going to be honest. You know, that was really good. That she's going into the right direction. And then she pops out with this shit. Then she comes out with this video. <sighs> Why is she so damn stupid? You know what? At this point, I think she just wants to lose her subscribers. I think Jazz, you know, we all know Jazz does this drama shit on purpose. She likes to be the talk. She likes to, um, for some reason, she always likes to be negative. She always likes to be in drama. You know what I'm saying? She can't never let the drama go. We all know this about her. You know, when everything died down, bitch, this was what? A week and a half, a week ago? Why are you bringing this shit up now? People done was done and over with. No, it wasn't nobody talking about the police and CPS and all that bullshit. Here you go bringing it up. I don't understand it. So here we about to go ahead and get into these comments before she go ahead and delete them like she always does. Someone says, here we go again. Grow up. Stop it. 
if you know you're doing good and the right thing, why care about what others say? Jazz, that's that's what goes on her. She always cares about what everybody else says. And then she goes in a video. She said that she mentioned that she took a break. She mentioned that she took a break and break from um, you know, being on social media. Bitch, no, you didn't. A break is you don't post anything, you don't be on social media at all. At, social media is put away, tucked away for a few days. This bitch was still uploading vlogs, still editing. She was still commenting on comments. She was still liking comments. So how is that a break? I'm confused. She's like, everybody looking for Jazz. Jazz right here. Bitch, people was looking for you to make a response to Liv, what Liv said a week ago. Ain't nobody looking for your ass no more. The fuck? This, I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of her dumb ass. I, re I really am. <sighs> somebody else said let me go ahead um i think a good way to stay out of stuff is to stop mentioning it in every live video or post hello it's really low vibrational really go go on go in a new direction which she was starting to do with her yesterday's walk if you're going to do stay at home content then do it because even that is lacking stay at home mom should have daily content content that doesn't include clapbacks Hello, Jazz, for some reason, she don't, she, listen, this is a slap in her subscriber's face. Every, all her subscribers, this is a slap in their face. Because she don't give a fuck what the fuck y'all think. Y'all supporting her. Y'all, um, you know, um, keep on trying to uplift her, keep on trying to steer her away from negativity. She don't, this video right here shows that she don't give a fuck about her subscribers. Okay. All her subscribers was in her previous vlog saying how how uh, how um, proud of them they are of her and all this positive stuff to her and say and saying that I'm glad that you're not um re, um giving into the negativity or posting anything negative and stuff and here she go slapping them right in their face. I think she she just likes for people not to like her for some reason. She just likes that. All right. And then let me see. Let me see what else we are saying here and right here. Someone said you love the drama and posting it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have recorded it. Be fucking for real already. You say the same bullshit every other day besides when you are not irritated and stressed. Exactly. So in this video, at the end, she just kept on saying, I'm so tired. I'm so drained. I'm just, I'm just really tired. No, bitch, what you really tired of is that nigga that's in your goddamn home. That's who the fuck you really tired of. You tired of going back and forth with his fucking ass. You tired of him being gone for long periods of time and his ass don't got no motherfucking job. And then he come home to you being all fucking tired and shit and ready to go to fucking bed. That's what the fuck you tired of. You tired of him not showing you love and affection. You tired of him stressing you out about finding a place to, to uh, move to a two-story house to move into. That's what the fuck you stressing out about. You're not stressing about stressing out over none of this bullshit that you said in this damn video, which is all was a damn ice storm. Like people ain't never seen fucking ice before. Let me see. What else? Somebody said, how you post a video saying no negativity and then post this video hours later? My God, you're so dumb. Hello. Yes, yeah, she is. <sighs> Someone said, I thought you had moved on from posting negativity on your channel. This storm happened last week. You didn't take a break. You made some weird sh shorts dancing around Chris. <laughs> Looking like a fool. <laughs> she was. She, she, a damn fool. A damn fool. Jazz need to hire. She needs to hire a committee, a council, or something to overlook her. To she needs to send them their videos. It can't be none of her stupid ass mods. They agree with every goddamn thing she does, good or bad, and extremely bad. They agree with. So it can't be them idiots because they just that brain dead as she is. Oh my god. Let me see. Oh, yeah. And then um, it was something else that was mentioned in this video to where I was thinking about. A, a, um, a, oh, yeah. She said that she thought about quitting YouTube 
So she's like, you know, I really thought about quitting YouTube, but you're not, you, you we already know you're not going to quit YouTube. Okay. Chris ain't going to let you quit YouTube. I remember in a live that she posted probably maybe like um, a month or two months ago where um, it was, she was in the dark and she was saying that um, Chris, um, she said that she was thinking about going to go get a job, like doing um, Instacart or DoorDash or just get like a, um, a part-time job. And she said, Chris told her, no, babe, don't do that. Um, I want you to be a stay at home mom. Okay. So yeah, since he said that your ass can quit doing YouTube and depend on his dumb ass with his two to three goddamn jobs. Yeah. You can be a stay at home mom, quit YouTube. I mean, he said that you could be a stay at home mom and I do shit. The fuck stay at home moms. Uh, means that they just stay home and don't work at all. Bitch, you're on YouTube. I guess that's your job. You're bringing in the money from off of YouTube. So get off of YouTube since Chris said that he got you. He got you. Chris got you. So with his two to three jobs. So you can go ahead and quit YouTube. <laughs> quit it. Somebody, somebody else is saying, take your kids off the internet. What are you doing? It's no good for them. Uh, let me see. Somebody said when you choose to pick a nignot over your kids, that is opening the door for a shit pile of chaos. All right, so here's someone who wrote something. They say, you label yourself as a grown-ass woman. Now is your chance to own your shit. Everybody cannot be saying the same thing about you, and it's a lie. At this point, you need to live in your truth and speak on it. You can have beef and go on, go, go off on your mother who helps and take care of y'all, including your boyfriend. Have smoke for Chrissy and me. But the moment Olivia gets on here and put your business out here, nothing is said. Even said she see why them females came on here and said what they said about you, shaking my head. That's so crazy. Just own it and speak on it. So everybody pretty much have moved past this. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have pretty much moved past the Jazz and Olivia thing. You know what I'm saying? Jazz never said anything back. Everybody let it go. But then Jazz wants to come on and do this dumb bullshit and bring 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 shit back up when she's not going to say anything. You know, we all know Olivia has something on Jazz, but Olivia is not going to say anything that she has on Jazz because I guess Jazz knows some secrets of Olivia. Jazz knows some things on Olivia, know some things about Olivia that um, Olivia don't want nobody else to know. So that's why Olivia she said that she ain't talking about it no more. So we ain't going to hear no more of that unless somebody, you know, say something. And that's when they'll start going back and forth. Somebody said, stop protecting that fat hip abuser. No peace until Chris is behind bars. Yeah, so, yeah, for the life of me, she just wasted our time. She should have deleted this. She should have um, threw it, you know. Well, actually, she couldn't because everybody else had already commented on it. Everybody else had made videos about it. You know what I'm saying? Now she's stuck with this embarrassment posted onto her um, page. You know, Jasmine is just, oh, my God. I'm, I'm just, I got to get off of this dumb bitch. She just gets on my nerves. I can't even sit there and look at her dumb ass. But, yeah, y'all. That video was a complete waste of time. Nothing was nothing was said that we just don't already know, except for just the police calling the grandma. That's the and then we filling in the blanks in between. Jazz ain't say nothing about why they was calling her. That she didn't say nothing about what was going on. That she didn't say what was said in the conversation between Granny and the police. Like you know, bitch, why go live if you're not going to discuss nothing? Like, bitch, don't beat around a bush. Like, I swear to God, she waited until, like, probably 10, 10 to 11 minutes in the vlog to start saying something. Bitch, get it out. What? What? What do you want? Like, I'm confused. Like, okay, yeah. So, you know, a big slap in her subscriber space. You know, people stay subscribed to her. 
they're just dumb period you know she obviously said that she don't give a fuck about y'all and that was that so we're going to go ahead and end it right here go ahead and like this video comment down below and subscribe